Hey everybody, welcome back to Iron Triangle Garage. Today, it's raining again. I mean, I just, I can't do stuff outside when it's raining. Today, we're going to take <clears throat> my trusty Lincoln Weld Pack 100. I lived with this thing at the racetrack. This was my welder at the racetrack. Because you can plug it into a generator and it works. We're going to go from flux core all the way up to AAA because it's only a 110 bolt welder. Can't go to the big leagues unless you get a 220, right? <laughs> so we're going to go from flux core to MIG. We're gonna convert this dude to gas. Let's do it. Let's talk about the parts needed for this conversion. One of the biggest parts on the welder side is this solenoid. This solenoid will mount, and I'll show it to you here in a minute, inside the welder towards the back. And the Lincoln kit is like $200 roughly, give or take, depending on where you buy it. And it comes with a solenoid, this, this uh, regulator, and a hose, and some hardware pieces. Maybe, like, maybe it comes with the, the nozzles. I parted it all out. I got this from the Zon, Amazon. Got this from Amazon, and this from Amazon. This, this whole, all of this right here was sixteen dollars you get two of the aerated nozzles two of the mig nozzles and a bunch of the electrodes this was twenty six dollars i believe this was thirty three dollars and then a bunch of miscellaneous hardware i paid thirty dollars for and let me tell you what i went in to the hardware store because i needed something to fit this. This is a 3 8 NPT and I needed a 3 8 NPT to go into this quarter inch NPT gas side. This side quarter inch goes to a clear hose using right here. I've got a couple fittings for that to the to the hose with the torch. Comes out here at the end of the torch. So I go into the hardware store. I'm looking for the quarter inch by three eighths adapter. Nothing. There's nothing there. You know what I did? Yeah, I asked. I asked a guy. Yep, I did it. I asked a guy. I said, where is it? And he said, let's go down this deep, deep, dark rabbit hole of nothingness. That means nothing to anybody. So once I got out of that predicament, long story short, you know what to do. I got all this stuff to make it work. I get home, I'm sitting down, I hear a clink clink, I look down, in my bucket of stuff. Sitting right there, staring at me. Already had it. Already had it. Just breathe. So those are the parts needed. The cost of all of this is this much versus the Lincoln kit. Here we are back at the welder. We're gonna take this top off here. I already pulled all the screws out. Screws here. This dude just whoop, right off. Super nice. Super, super nice. Dirty. Sorry. Okay. First order of business is going to be to get this solenoid mounted and plumbed. This is the solenoid. You got two five millimeter bosses. Yeah. There's a directional arrow. So it's going to go right in here. You see this? 
this is where your gas is going to come in. It's going to go right into this. So this will be mounted like that. Gas will come in here, go out here, you'll plumb a line through this little hole here down into the, the hose. Okay. So we'll just kind of do a little pre-assembly outside to see what it looks like. This, wrong side, already messing it up. This side right here goes just like that. Your clear tube will come off of here. Here's the piece that I found in my junk box. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Here is our, our uh, flare fitting. Fits. Our hose that goes to our argon tank. So this will go in like that. This will be sticking out of this hole. The wiring is, is, is no, it's not polarized. So you don't, it doesn't matter which one you hook it to. And you're gonna hook it to, there's two tangs on this circuit board. There's two tangs, wire, wire clips. That is for the solenoid. It says right there, S-O-L. So you put, that's not, you know, out of luck. That's not, you know, itched out of luck. That's solenoid, okay. Just so we're, we're clear. These yellow wires, boom, onto that. There's a couple holes right here. See my finger, Whee! You can use to mount the solenoid. I'll probably have to drill a hole because these holes are a little bit off. So that's gonna go in there. Some of these other videos I watched about this, they didn't, they weren't that clear about all that. All right, there you can see the solenoid in place. The two electrical connections are made to that circuit board. The only thing weird I had to do is I had to take my Christmas tree bit, open up that hole a little bit to get that fitting to come through. Other than that, it was uh, incredibly, incredibly simple. So you see there, there's my, you see down in there. Hard to see. Let's see if I can get a zero in on it. There's my tube. The important thing about this tube is it's a 3 16th inside diameter. That's the important part. That's what you gotta know. Outside doesn't really matter. And the reason you need 3 16th is so it can go on to that port right there. There's my tube running through. There's a hole already in the in the firewall. Goes down to that port. I'm still gonna swap these. We'll change this wire to an 030 solid wire. I still gotta get an argon tank. I don't have an argon tank, so you 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. That's your mix on your tank. Uh, other than that, I got a couple more fittings to do. We'll see if that solenoid works. We have our solenoid installed. We have the wires wired. Again, non non polarity, not a not a huge issue there. We have our air, our argon hose plumbed. And something they never show you in some of the other videos is what goes on after here. So this will go on to your argon tank, 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. Open that up. Goes into here, just like that. And your hose goes into there. We now have our polarity changed for the torch. Since it's I'm going all MIG now, I've decided to put all new stuff on here. Just start over fresh. Brand and new. I'm going to turn this all the way down. Turn it on. See if that solenoid clicks, if we're in business. Just got to get an argon tank and then uh, lay down some, some pretty, pretty welds. Oh, did you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it. That's awesome. That's it. That's it, everybody. Gonna hook up our gas. 
Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to put it back together. We'll get some argon. And uh, I'll just break stuff while I'm doing it. Because that's how I do things. Unintentionally. Did I break somebody? Well, oops. Well, that'll about do it for this episode. We got to see the old weld pack get converted over to a MIG welder, use some argon gas to uh, shield my welds in the future. No more booger flux core welding. Um, if you like that kind of content, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Check out this video over here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.